Hey, this is Joe Healy. Today we're going to take a look at publishing to Windows 8 using GameMaker. Um, take a GameMaker game, push it up. This is easier said than done. <clears throat> I am Joe Healy, um, Joseph E. Healy at Hotmail.com. You can also try jhealy at Microsoft.com. And you can hit me with um, DevFish on Twitter. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. First, we got to make sure our environment's set up right. A few things we'll need installed. We'll cover that. We're going to go to the Windows Store, reserve an app name. We'll use that to get publisher and application info. Um, also, with, by using a Visual Studio Shell project, we'll add that store info and cert to our Game Maker project. We will then whack verify our game and then take a look at uploading it, although we're not going to actually go through all the stuff to upload it to the store here. Um, it's a pretty standard Windows Store publishing process. So let's talk about requirements. Even if you have Visual Studio 2013 installed, you still have to have Visual Studio 2012 installed. Um, Game Maker specifically requires it, um, via, as I found out via my experiments, um, if you're doing um, Windows 8, WinJS output. It's a good idea just to install it anyway and make sure everything's nice and happy. Um, best route if you don't really want to install full Visual Studio 2012 is to go get VS Express 2012 for Windows 8 and drop that in. You'll also obviously have to have the Windows 8 export license for Game Maker. Um, right now this is a pro version available for uh, 99 bucks. Pretty good deal at that um, given the productivity of Game Maker. And you have to have your Windows Store account activated. Well, here we are. We got this super awesome FUBAR 1945, which looks eerily like the um, scrolling shooter 1945. And we want to publish it to the Windows 8 Store. Big trick to really getting this going. First, change the dropdown to Windows 8. Uh, and then you can try test run and all that. I know this is going to work, so I'm not so worried about it. But I'm really wanting to work on the association here. Um, so I come out, and I'm going to go to my... Visual Express for Windows 8. Another way you can get to this is just by coming out and typing in BS Express for Windows 8. We start that up and we're going to create a little shell app um, for gaining Windows 8 type information for our Game Maker project. So I'll go File New Project. There's Windows Store. Um, if you're doing the JavaScript, pick the JavaScript one. If you're doing native, take the C Sharp one. Uh, I've got a native one. It really doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to drop it into my, I have a little working directory for FUBAR 1945, and I call it FUBAR 1945 Shell. We'll click OK. We'll go off and create us a little shell project. Basic, you know, blank app at this point. What we're going to do in Express to really get the stuff going associated with the store app, it has a store menu. We come up, store, create app packages going to ask us if we want to go to the store and sign in. We'll come up here and we're going to go in with my secret developer account which is now not so secret. And we will come in here and we're going to put in our password which I hope stays secret and I hope I remember. We sign in with it. <coughs> I don't have any <coughs> I don't have any available app names up there so we have to go create one. So we'll click there to go up. It'll let us go create an app name. We're going to come in to click on app name, we'll go Foobar 1945, put a nice space in there, and reserve the app name for this. Save it. And at this point, we can actually go back to our project. It'll refresh. Pick up that we now have an app name. We click Next. Um, we'll go ahead and build this. If you're going to do ARM, you can also check ARM at this point. And we're just going to leave it. Uh, at the native, and we'll click create, or neutral rather. Goes off, and uh, very important here is that it's now given us this output location directory. Um, and it's, that is actually where our certificate that we're going to need is stored. So if we click there, you can see that it's dropped us down where the Apex upload is. We're going to go up one. I'm just going to grab that URL into the clipboard, but here is the certificate key we're going to need in just a little bit. So let's go off and we're going to go back to our Game Maker game now. And I want to put in, well first we'll put in that certificate I was talking about. So down here in the uh, project kind of tree explorer, um, there's the global game settings. I come in for Windows 8, clicked up here on Windows 8. 
I'm on the installation tab. You'll probably come up first time in the general tab and you can see a bunch of things in here. We're going to have to change all this goodies over here, but over on the side you've got splash screens and uh, icons and all that. You definitely want to move those over. Um, we're going to come in here and we're going to go into our native certificate and we're going to go and click on the dot dot dot. We'll send it over to the directory where we installed our stuff. There is our PFX. Click on that. Install the certificate. Um, this is basically a great route for you to learn to click through and go yes, yes, yes to everything because it'll do a bunch of mumbo jumbo to install a certificate for this thing. So off we go. You can see some PowerShell running down here. It verifies it. Administrator credentials required to continue. Go ahead and accept the UAC prompt. Generally not a good idea, but I give you a special permission here. Um, do you wish to continue? Yes. And PowerShell will install the certificate for me. And then it should close itself away, and we now have that native certificate sitting there ready to go. But we're not done yet. We need to fill in all this information in global game settings. Display name, package name, package display, all these kind of things. Where might you get that? Well, you remember the Windows 8 store shell project we created. Here I'm going to drag one to one side my Windows 8 store, and uh, then I'll be able to see uh, my Game Maker stuff. Actually, an easier way to do this is just say OK here. We'll drag Game Maker over the left. And we'll have the store on the right, and we'll close out this room that's sitting here. So now you can see I got my Visual Studio here and my Game Maker here. I go back to Global Game Settings, that screen we were just on. Um, there's Windows 8 again. Now I'm going to come on my General tab. I need to fill in this information. So now I'm going to go to Store, and I'm going to go Edit App Manifest. Display. It's very important you get all these things to match up. So my display name is FUBAR1945. See, display name here, matches display name here. Um, then we're going to go over to packaging. And my package name matches the package name here. So this is a magic voodoo from the store about my publisher. Um, and the uh, that's my actual publisher ID, and that's the game name associated with it. Package display name is, uh, should match what you have over here. So here we see FUBAR 1945. So I'm going to go package display name 1945. So we're looking good there. So I got display name, package name, package display name. And then my publisher should also match the publisher I have over here. Control C, scroll back so you can see. No voodoo. Put that there, and now um, all those fields have been matched out pretty nicely. So let's click OK, and now we're ready to go. Um, we're not going to mess around too much with Visual Studio at this point, but our Windows 8 stuff is ready to be built um, and uploaded to the store. So what I'm going to do out here is File, Create Application. It'll ask me where I want to dump this stuff out. Um, since I've got this little working directory, up here for FUBAR1945 goodies. I'm going to um, just put something out here called builds. And we're going to drop this down into builds, and there goes our AppX out there. So we got a Windows 8 native AppX out there. Um, good idea to always uh, do is uh, uh, run the uh, <laughs> run the uh, uh, Windows app with the app verifier. So there's the Windows app cert kit. Say yes. He'll tell me apparently I don't have the latest one. I promise I'll download that later. I'm going to come out here, validate the Windows Store app. It, when I do that, it'll actually run through the cycles, um, run the app, do all kinds of things like that. We'll see in a sec that the app will go away. Maybe. Mm, Should I? But uh, run the Windows App Cert Kit, and uh, it'll run through your app. It'll let it run a couple times, and... Uh, then you'll uh, then you'll get stuff going. Uh, whoop! Here it comes now. Uh, select an app to validate. It'll kick off. It'll run through our app and uh, uh, verify it and make sure everything's good and copacetic. But uh, we're we're now at the point now where this app is ready to be uploaded to the store. Um, normal store publishing process applies there. I'm not going to go too much into that. So if you want to find it, you come out here. Here's my 
1945. There's that builds directory, and there's the AppX ready to be uploaded, ready to go. Hope this helps you. And uh, Joe Healy, Jay Healy at Microsoft.com, Josephine Healy at Hotmail.com, and Devfish on Twitter.